Yo, what's up, it's your boy Cam Prince back with another video. And today, as you've seen from the title here, I'm gonna show you guys how to iron your military kit. Somebody might say like, who don't know how to iron? Like, everybody knows how to iron. Um, but you might be surprised, these people have told me before that there are folks, there are folks that went through basic training with them who still, to this day, don't know how to iron. Yes, it's happening. So this video is basically gonna be about ironing your military kit. I'm not the iron king, like I hate ironing, but um, I did what I had to do and kept my clothes golden looking good. But yeah, I've had this ironing board since phase two, and I've had this iron since phase one. So get yourself a heavy duty iron. So a heavy duty ironing board and the heavy duty iron. I think I got this from, is it Argos? I got this ironing board from Argos. And then I got this from, uh, someone bought this for me um, when I was coming into phase one. Shout out to you, Maxine, for this iron. Get yourself a very heavy duty iron as well. Maybe around 50, 40 pounds. Get yourself something good. Because the worst thing, or uh, the worst set of people are folks who don't have iron, don't have ironing board. Don't go into training without these. Because you're going to be ironing every single day. So make sure that you get your own stuff. And you don't have to be asking people like, are you finished with your ironing board? Are you finished with your iron? Those used to be the most annoying people in basic training. Like get your own stuff, right? So yeah, good iron, good ironing board. What I want to point out here is black bits that are on your iron. After ironing some stuff, like you're going to get these bits here, like this, right? Uh, some of them they would not affect your, your clothing, uh, but some of them will. But another a tip that you can do to get rid of these like black stains on your iron yeah, is when the iron is hot, get some paracetamols. And it's a bit wasting, and then you can wipe it off with the paracetamol tablets, and you start seeing them coming off when the iron is hot. But just watch your fingers as well, because you don't want it to like melt down, and then you brand yourself. And somebody's gonna be like, "Oh, the iron board is burnt," or whatever, because I know how you guys are. Yes, it's burnt, but it's still doing the job. Okay, it's still doing the job. My business. The first thing I'm gonna iron today, yeah, is this shirt. And this is one of the worst shirts to iron. It's the long sleeve shirt that goes with your number twos. And the reason why this is like a challenge to iron is because every touch you give this, it starts to crease. It's, it's so hard to iron and then it's so easy to get creased as well. So this is the first, like if you have to iron in bulk and you, you have not ironed this, make sure you iron this before any of your MTP um, kit. Because you don't want the stains from the iron to affect this and because this is like somewhat um, half white you, you can see spots on it easily so iron this first when your iron is clean and then iron everything else after all right what a lot of people use as well on the, this shirt is starch i hate starch because starch sometimes it affects your iron so i don't use starch what i do make sure that the iron is filled with sufficient water yeah and make sure that it's a steam iron as well steam irons are the best Sometimes you can make sure that your iron is somewhat mid. You don't want it to be too hot, so medium temperature. And always steam the heck out of these to get rid of some of the lines and creases. As you can see here, right? I put the shirt over, right? So the pointy part has somewhat of the top area. And also what you can do is make sure the rope or the cord of the iron is on the opposite side from the rest of the shirt. And you pull this over. Again, make sure that the pointy edge of the iron has this bit. So you can get the top corners right there. Also, you can do somewhat hold the card sometimes from creasing the shirt because you don't want it to be sliding on the shirt. You can just hold it up a little. Good to go. Make sure that the pointy edge grips like this. Yeah. Really, Nick. <laughs> 
As you can see, I was going in like a motion where I'm just pulling the shirt bit by bit. So we are at the final edge of it, still keeping this bit tucked into the edge of this iron board. Now we're on to the sleeves. The sleeve bit. We'll make sure is there's a really crisp line. Look at this. It's like a knife. You don't want to create double lines. So whenever you're creating your seam, make sure that it's crisp as possible. It's back to the back. And you might see a few little lines from me just turning the shirts. And you just want to just iron those out, which is not going to be really long, so yeah, a few lines, you can turn up the heat if you want to, get rid of those, get the collar bit, press it somewhat parallel to the tip of the ironing board, and Ready for inspection. <laughs> Your MTP shirts here. Phase one shirt. When you come to when you come to unit, you get other shirts. Copying this bit inside this edgy part here, and you want to turn this up to the max. Up to the max. Make sure you have water in it. Yes, no. Steam. Make sure these don't get burnt easily. So, yeah, all at all. So you want to just steam this to the highest temperature. Same maneuver, pushing over one end at a time. Keeping that bit, top bit, pulled against the tip of the iron. Look how crisp this is looking at. This is looking on the board, even now. Corner. They pull to the final end here. What is it? It's in my pocket. <laughs> what is it here? A mask. Always have a mask in your pocket. Even when you wash your shirt. I think everybody has their own styles in ironing, so I'm not here to be the teacher of ironing. This is just for someone who probably say, I don't know how to iron. Uh, and the majority of folks probably can iron. But what we do is well, we take these off from the sleeves so you can get better a better way to iron the sleeve. I don't think in phase one we used to do like the the lines the seams on our shirts. I don't think we were allowed. So we should just like iron these um, somewhat. Yeah, I can't remember if we were allowed sleeves, um, seams on our shirts in phase one. I doubt it, but yeah. If you have to, you can just create seams easily. If not, then don't just iron it like this. As I said, and what you can do as well, iron D separate. Make sure that you get the color as well. on your shirt. So it shows us just make sure that the pockets are leveled in to iron them separately. As I said make sure that the iron for these material is set to the highest because these don't get burnt. Water is still inside. Okay, 
at it. So after the front is done, to get the back here, simply pull this bit right over this the tip of there, and then you can iron the back without affecting the front. The lower bits, you can do this. Um, this bit. You can just put it on the ironing board and iron it. But the top bit here, do that method that I just did. Make sure that your buttons are done up there. Don't just leave them hanging like this. Raid pants, trousers, um, drills and all that. With this one too as well, you want to make sure that it has like perfect seams. You can iron this like this. Put it like that, push it a bit over. It can be turned up to the max as well for this one. Just gonna create nice, perfect seams. Flip it over like this, so you can get the other end. This bit up, just iron. And the same thing, make sure that keep in line with the seam because you don't want to get get it out of seam or get it double seam right. people do this as i said different many different ways this is just one way that i love to do it because it just makes sure for me that it gives make sure you look for the seam as well the seams can be so cheeky man to tell you you will already get an automatic seam at the top of the pants at the front so hold on to that and this will guide you towards the seam that you just need to create going down. Same with this bit. And yeah. Put both on each other and get the top bit of the pants. Get rid of all the minor creases. So the top bit, as you can see, you flip this over. You can get the other end, the other side. So you gently iron this bit. You don't want to press down the iron and crease the other side. So you just gently guide it that way. And then with this bit you can but don't ruin the seams. This is you done. Crisply iron. Crisply iron, yeah. Number two pants. Ready for <laughs> ready for the changing steps and the marking time. Yeah. Somebody might ask, how how do you fold your sleeves? Because you know sometimes you have to fold the sleeves. I'm going to show you how to do it. First, you're going to iron the shirt, iron the sleeve. Now I'm creating a seam on it so you can get it will it will give it more of a equal fold. And people who you know who are slim, you don't want to just fold your shirt just like that because sometimes it will look baggy and all that. So the best way to keep your folding really firm and tight, your sleeves really firm and tight, you want to fold one end, the end that is to the armpits, fold that in like maybe an inch in, yep, yeah. like an inch in, as you can see, just like this, fold it in. What you're gonna do is grab this bit at the bottom because you don't want this to go loose. Yeah, so grab it. And you just wanna like, it's like you know when you're opening like, a, <laughs> like you already eat like the chocolate bar and it melted in the bag. You're like opening the packet just to get that, those bits out. Yeah, you just twist it over like this. Right? 
while keeping this bit that you fold, keep it from getting loose. And you just continue with this motion. Or the height to whatever you're going for. Um, I usually have to go like a little high because I love to show off the pecs in it. Right, so this is a good length. See? It's not too high, not too low. Somewhat bigger around here so the muscles can breathe. <laughs> hey, hold on, this shit ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. Yeah, sometimes you can put a sock inside this so that you can just put the sock inside. And you can just iron this bit. So it'll have like a crisp look to it. Yeah, that my friend is how you create a nice seam, well, a nice fold in your sleeve. The little crisp bellies. See that my PT shirt and PT shorts and to show you guys what we don't really use these anymore for PT sessions in the unit but these are what we used in phase one we still use this shirt anyway underneath your um mtp shirts but yeah we don't really use this pants anymore in the unit they look at you as a mom if you wear this see here you have to be careful with the temperature of the iron when you're ironing this shirt because i brought this one out um just to show what can happen and that is a burn. <laughs> you can see the printing of the iron right there. Medium temperature. And the main thing that you do with this shirt is create seams at the shoulder bit, like right here, the shoulder bit of this shirt. You wanna make sure that they can see a crisp seam. Uh, for pity that is, because when you're wearing it under your shirt, it doesn't really matter, but if you're doing physical, you know, pity sessions, the PTI is they will look for that. So you just wanna, have your iron maybe mid temperature and just create a nice seam at the shoulder bit. What some people do as well, they to prevent any burning, they put somewhat of a towel over the shirt. Um, if you have a face towel, you can just put it on top of the shirt, then iron it over. So that will help you to prevent burning. But this is basically just it. What you can do as well, you can pull this over your ironing board, just like that. Let the, the head bit pull through there. Yeah, all you gotta do is pull it over. Yeah, these don't take very long, because once you have the correct temperature, you're good to go. your lines at the top and your PTIs will be happy that's basically how you do this this shots um, you have to create two seams at the front and two at the back so just find the middle bit for the front do it one side at a time so I'm gonna find a middle bit for this bit and you create a line form that line with your steam lines because the pity eyes when you go to your gym sessions or your pity sessions they will be <laughs> um, inspecting your lines you're like did you iron your did you iron your shots did you iron because they will know whether or not you iron if you don't have these lines they will know so that's the first that's the first front seam right there created and then you look for the other middle bit again of the front that line yeah steam that line sometimes you see creases at the back and all that you can just like crease those out with iron we go to the back as well do the same thing two 
two at the back, seams at the back, two at the front, and you're ready for your gym, you're ready for your PT sessions and your inspection. Uh, somebody might ask, what about your smart? Yeah, maximum level, steam, the heck out of it. Um, but yeah, I don't have to show you how to iron your smart. The same procedure, iron that, as I said. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, I forgot my intro. Let me go and come back. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Cam Prince back with another video. So, yeah, so when it comes. Sorry. Yeah, so what we do is start with this bit. So, always use the point of the iron to put by the hands. Yep. It's 